Alright guys, second vlog of tonight, still May 18th, 11.20pm. So this one would be titled, uh, Keeping a Secret. Um, keeping a secret can be somewhat difficult in the beginning stages. I want to do a vlog on this because I do have a secret to reveal uh, to my viewers that uh, don't live within uh, my inner circle and some of the people um, globally that I do um, talk to a mentor to and, and have subscribed to my channel. Um, so keeping a secret, I wanted to talk about that briefly before I do reveal my secret. But um, keeping a secret can be somewhat of a difficult challenge, but I notice it's most difficult in the beginning. Um, or you just want to tell somebody um, right away to kind of just get that relief of pressure off your shoulder so you can just tell somebody something about your secret um, and I noticed that it is very hard in the beginning but as time progressed um, like I knew about my secret for what is it I roughly kept it a secret for almost three months um, yeah, I mean recording these vlogs every day wanting to talk about my secret not talking about it not even expressing it to my own family um, and then, of course, they all know now, but keeping the secret in the beginning was very tough for me. The first couple of weeks was um, very challenging. I didn't want to express that uh, notion to different people, and uh, people act like they can keep secrets, um, and they truly can't. They tell you that they will, and it is so hard for them to do so that they have to let one person, um, possibly their significant other, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't believe in hiding or keeping secrets from your significant other, um, even if it makes them mad, even if it makes them upset. And you probably shouldn't be doing that thing in the first place. If you have to think twice or, or more than a couple seconds about the action you're about to partake in or, or have partaken in, um, and you knew reflecting back on it, um, that's probably a pretty good indicator. Like I said, if it takes you more than a couple seconds to easily make a decision, whether this is a good decision or a bad decision, it's probably a good indicator that you shouldn't be doing that uh, particular thing. So, <clears throat> back to keeping a secret. Um, my secret was a little delicate, and I had my reason for keeping it. Um, but I did notice a struggle in the beginning where I just wanted to, uh, like, uh, to paint you a good picture, to yell it from a rooftop. Um, so the whole world can hit me, hear me. Um, and then this is kind of a platform for the world to hit me, hear me, but I do, and this is just a, a visual representation of me keeping a secret for the last um, three months that I've known, roughly, uh, give or take some time, give or take a couple days. But um, me knowing that, me being able to keep the secret, and then I got to a point where people around you really start bothering you um, the people that do know the secret start bothering you and imposing their will onto you for you to tell the secret um, out because they know and is they they feel like they just other people need to know and that's not necessarily true. Um, sometimes a secret, if you are telling it, is it benefiting you or is it benefiting the people around you? Um, typically, it's one or the other. Um, and and I've heard this old saying, and this has nothing to do with my secret, but I'll give you the old saying. That if you tell a person that um, you're cheating, for example, um, and you tell a person that I wanted to tell you this so um, just to let you know and so they're not to be secrets between us, you're actually doing it for yourself. You're not doing it to help that person. You're doing it for your own personal gain. Um, so that was a reason I chose to... Um, keep my secret such a secret for a long time because I didn't want to use it for personal gain. It had nothing to do with personal gain. And I didn't want to take from other people's spotlights. To me, that wasn't a, a necessary uh, thing that I would have to do. I My secret was very personal to me and my family and, and not really anybody else. And the only reason I'm sharing it with uh, my subscribers is because it has hit social media. Um, to a certain extent, and it's not really a secret anymore, and I can share about it, talk about it, and it'll be another experience uh, for people to understand in my life, um, and then those um, who are in a similar experience can understand uh, my thought process as uh, on a day-to-day -day as I continue making these vlogs, um, 
and you can kind of know um, how things go for me and what to expect. So now that I got about five minutes of uh, me keeping my secret out there, I will devote uh, to you my secret. Except my wife is uh, pregnant with twins, um, and she's about almost 16 weeks pregnant. And I've known we've known since about week three or four. So you can imagine I've known this for three months now. And um, I wanted to share it so many times on the blog. I wanted to share it so many times um, with my family and friends, but I just chose not to. And then I noticed a lot of other people. Um, being pregnant as well at the same time, like my little brother's uh, pregnant with uh, with his wife, and then uh, I have a good friend who's pregnant with his wife. And I don't want to necessarily take away from their spotlight. Like I was saying, it's it's their own moment. They should be happy about it. Um, and I kept mine a secret for a couple different reasons. It was uh, some complications, um, and luckily everything's fine now. But I didn't want to say anything till we knew for sure that we were in the clear. Um, and we knew we were having twins for about three months now. So, um, and it's not to uh, bash on my family, but they each have their own stuff going on. So, I don't want them to worry about or not worry or um, or anybody to have pity on me should something go wrong with uh, the pregnancy. But since things are going right, I chose to uh, divulge that secret to to people now and. Um, for no apparent reason other than just for them to know. Um, there's no benefit to me whatsoever. And I think the timing um, can prove that. There's, there's, since I've told people, there's been nothing that has come of it. Um, people are, tend to be more excited uh, for me. Um, I even had one manager ask me today if I'm getting any sleep because I'm so excited, but I'm of the mentality and even though I'm very optimistic, I don't want to celebrate uh, prematurely. So I want to make sure that everything goes fine through the entire pregnancy. We still have several months to go and through the delivery um, to make sure everybody comes out all right, not just the babies, but my wife as well. Um, and then um, I will be more excited. Even though I'm a very optimistic person, um, I don't like to celebrate beforehand. Um, I'm very optimistic that everything will be fine. But I just don't celebrate beforehand. It's just something that I don't do. <clears throat> I don't believe that there's a need for it. So <clears throat> essentially that is my secret that uh, my wife is pregnant with twins. And keeping that secret was, like I said, very challenging in the beginning. Where I just wanted to um, let my family know uh, rather quickly. And my wife, um, she let her family know uh, a couple weeks before I decided to let mine no, and it's just, it's her own time and her own family. But for me and my family, I didn't want to take away from anything else. And I just had a feeling about certain things, um, you know, whether they would uh, be good or bad things. Um, I had this feeling that certain things uh, may or may not happen. And when, when the complications started to arise, um, I really was happy for keeping a lid on it because then you have to go and explain some possibly bad things to family when, you know, I should have just kept it to myself uh, up until that point, which I did. Um, and then if something were to happen, I didn't even have to explain it. But luckily nothing did um, throughout the complications that we did uh, endure. So <clears throat> that'll be it for the second vlog for today. Um, keeping a secret can be challenging. Sometimes people entrust their secrets to you. And you should just put those in a box and put it away. If you want to tell anybody, you can tell your spouse, I guess, because I don't believe in keeping secrets from your spouse, um, even if they hurt them. Um, that, or, or you know, sometimes you know that you do things that upset your spouse, or you know that your spouse will be unhappy with the next set of actions that you took. But if you tell her that, hey, I just want to be able to have this open communication with you. I want to be able to talk to you about this, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, because good news, everybody's delighted to hear about. Bad news, people take a certain way. And uh, indifferent news doesn't really have a uh, bearing on them, so they don't care for it either way. But if you can have that open lines of communication with your spouse, to where you can tell her the good days, the bad days, and, and uh, whatever days, then that will, I think, lead to a healthy... Um, uh, 
fully developed relationship where there's nothing undisclosed and you guys are fully open with each other. And she could tell you things that can potentially make you upset, but you know, you have to roll with the punches. Not everything is going to be a uh, a well written fantasy. There, there's are hard times that are, that are coming, but um, <clears throat> I'll be excited um, and keep you guys posted on the vlogs as to um, things that develop. Like we have a an appointment tomorrow um, to figure out how things are, are are going and develop, making sure that everything is on par and things are are well on their way and within normal ranges, which as we as as far as we know they are. So. That'll be it for the second vlog for today. I know that secrets, uh, keeping secrets can be tough. Um, and this is just one simple secret that although is um, overwhelmingly good, um, there still could be um, a lot of bad different outcomes should you decide to share your secrets at a point in time where they shouldn't necessarily be shared. And know that you're sharing them for um, not necessarily for you to have an advantage, but for you know, just because you want people to have the, the knowledge, so to speak, um, and just so they're informed. But the other reason I didn't want to um, tell people is I didn't want people to think that I would be more incapable of performing my daily duties or activities that I that I have committed to. Um, I noticed that people tend to have pity on people who are going through a pregnancy, like they are incapable, like they need to be sent home earlier. They need to, they can't do the normal things that they should do. And that is uh, absolutely inaccurate. Um, and I don't believe in that at all. Um, like I like have told my wife and my friends and my family, um, it's just a pregnancy and it's very common occurrence in today's day and age. Uh, hundreds of babies are born every day and we're nobody special um, just because we're having twins. We're, we're just... Um, that's very, uh, as we're finding out, very common as well. <clears throat> and I don't want anybody to think otherwise. Everything is uh, normal. We don't deserve any more credibility or any less credibility. Um, everything should be uh, remain the same, and we should be treated the same. Um, there shouldn't be any, any different type of treatment, which I was afraid of. And uh, there's more deeper reasoning for that, um, and I'll probably get into that at a later vlog. But when you tend to tell people some insider information or some dark secrets or, or not relating to this pregnancy, but just some dark secrets, people tend to judge. Um, and it's just a first instinct for people is to judge uh, you against other circumstances, other people, themselves, and, and other things. Um, <clears throat> and we're all guilty of it in one way, shape, or form. And I don't want people to judge me off that. Um, so that's why I chose to keep it to myself uh, for such a long time. And I let my my wife do uh, with her information, do what she wanted with her information when it came to her family. And if she felt like sharing, that was up to her. I tried not to be the controlling type uh, in my relationship because I noticed that that hasn't worked for me in the past. So I just, uh, uh, now whenever I am in a relationship, I let uh, my wife or significant other choose what they want to do with that information. As long as it doesn't have an immediate effect on me uh, or or my environment, um, you can do what you want with the information. Um, but also, we have to respect each other's wishes when it comes to um, certain types of information and putting it out there on social media platforms. Um, because I like my privacy. I mean, I'm I'm sure a lot of other people do too. So that's uh, part of the reason I kept my secret uh, to myself for so long. But that'll be it for the second vlog for today. Appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I know that there's a lot of people excited for me, and I am excited as well. And even though, like I said, I'm very optimistic, I just want to make sure that everything goes through fine before I start celebrating. So, again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next one.